Somebody sleepy. Are you sleepy? Are you sleepy? You're so cute. Good morning. It is day five of the Booktubeathon. I can't believe how fast it is going. I never want it to end. But I will update you on what I've read so far and what I plan to read today and other things that are happening today. So last night I finished Eliza and Her Monsters at about 11.30 p.m. And I gave this five stars. I, oh my god, like I did not expect to love it as much as I did. I cried at the end and I never cry in books. I just, this was so emotional and I related to the main character so, so much. And I just, I flippin' loved it. Like, oh, I can't. Like, I can't. So, plans for today in terms of reading. Oh wait, I'll update you what challenges I've completed. So, I've completed three books and three challenges. It's day five, which means I need to read two books today, which I can definitely accomplish, which I'll get to in a minute. So, I read The Sleeper in the Spindle by Neil Gaiman and illustrated by Chris Riddle. This completed the challenge to read a book entirely outdoors. Then, I read... Where is it? It's over there somewhere. I read the Jane Eyre manga, which completed the challenge to read a book in a day. And then I read Eliza and Her Monsters, which completed the challenge to read a book with a person on the cover. And now, for today's books that I plan to read, I plan to finish Binti Home on my Kindle. I'm 34% through and it's really short, so I will read that probably after I finish updating you guys. And then my mum and I are going to go to Ikea to buy a reading chair for my room. I'm so excited. So that's going to happen. And then after we get back from Ikea, I'm going to pick up Brittany's dog and bring him to my place just for a little play date with Luna because Brittany's at work all day. And then I'm going to read The Lover's Dictionary by David Levithan, which should not take me long at all. Um, because it's like very short pages. So that will be two books I've read for today. And that will bring my reading to five books in five days. But this evening, Kirsty and I from Melbourne on my mind are starting our buddy read of Seven Ways We Lie by Riley Redgate. And hopefully we will just like read this in one sitting, which will probably be what happens. <laughs> so that will be six books or five and a half if I don't finish this tonight. And I'm so excited! And then we still have the weekend. I'm working both days. Um, on Saturday, I'm working 11 till 4. And on Sunday, which is my birthday, I'm working 12 till 4. And then we're going out for dinner for my birthday. Um, but that's it. That's it. I'm just, I'm so excited. I'm having the best time doing the Booktubeathon. Um, I haven't done all of the video challenges and Instagram challenges just because I'm lazy. <laughs> And some of them I just really couldn't be bothered. But we'll see what today's are, and if I like them, I'll do them. Luna is pretending to be dominated. <laughs> I got a package, and I think this is one of my birthday presents from Chelsea, from Chelsea Darling Reads. So, <laughs> I'm going to open it. It's The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. If you saw my Owlcrate unboxing, you will see that this was July's book. But Chelsea had already ordered this for me for my birthday. But I am not mad because I just, I know that this is going to be one of my new favourite books. And both copies are so unbelievably stunning that I don't care that I have two. Plus, this is special because it's from Chelsea. Thank you, Chelsea. It is 2.06 and I just finished reading Binti Home. And what? I am so confused. I, I don't know... What to think like it wasn't as good as the first one so i think i'm going to give it four stars but like how can it just end like that what the heck what the heck is happening that's another challenge down um to read about a character that's very different from you am i bleeding ollie um we didn't end up going to ikea because mum found a really cool cheap chair on gumtree so she's going to go and have a look at that right now and we'll see but now i'm probably going to go and start reading The Lover's Dictionary and maybe catch up on some YouTube videos. Hello, uh, I just got another package in the mail so I'm assuming this is Chelsea's other present for me. Um, I already know what it is because I was naughty and I bought books the other day and I had to ask her what she bought me so I didn't buy a duplicate copy. <laughs> but I'm so excited. 
<laughs> I'm so excited. This is a Closed and Common Orbit by Becky Chambers. If you didn't know, my favourite book of this year is The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet, which is the first book in this companion series. So, of course I had to get the sequel. These covers are just beautiful and I can't wait to read it. I just, I love it. Thank you so much, Chelsea. You're the best. I love you so much. Hello, so I went out for dinner and I just got home, it's 8.08 and so I'm just starting to read Seven Ways We Lie because I'm buddy reading this with Kirsty from Melbourne on my mind. I'm on page two. She's currently 40% through the book, so that's fun. Apparently I just suck at buddy reading this week, so it's the next day, but uh, we're just gonna ignore that fact uh, because I fell asleep. When I was supposed to stay up, I got to page 57 of Seven Ways We Lie and fell asleep. Wow. I also, before that, managed to get to page 35 of The Lover's Dictionary. And I listened to more of the audiobook of Big Little Lies. I'm now on page 216, so I'm almost halfway. But yeah, I fell asleep. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kirsty. Also, this is the reading chair that I got. Isn't it cool? It's so cool. Anyway, I'm going to end the vlog because uh, it's the next day and I have to start the next vlog. <laughs> Such fun. Really sorry, Kirsty, that I failed our buddy read. And yeah. Okay, goodbye.